Hello guys, and welcome to the final episode of the Corfu Herping series. Quickly, before the video begins, like the video and subscribe to the channel to help me hit my goal of 1k by summer. All right, thank you, let's go. Yo, welcome back. It's day number seven, I believe now, which means only three days remaining. <laughs> Well, it's the time to say goodbye to this area that we're staying in. And today we will be heading south, but that will be in the evening. So we've got one more day to spend sort of of our choosing in the north of the island. But anyway, having found that Caspius, we haven't got much left to like do here in this area. That was like the one species you could... Did I just see what I thought? I think I saw. <laughs> Please tell me you saw that. This guy tried to yeet the bag out the window into the bin, missed, ran it over and had to get out and put it in. Well, while I recorded that intro to the day, Harry and Liam just went up here to check some tiles. And apparently they've got the four line. Uh, Cute. It's a nice one. Really robust, even at that yeah. tiny size. It's slamming food. So we literally just left the house and we've already got snake number one of the day. Four, I have a feeling. Four line of the trip. Yeah, four four line in four days after not seeing any for the first three days, yeah. right? Yeah. I can't believe it's day number seven already as well. Mm. Well, that's a good start. Alafe quattrilineata. Juvenile four line snake. Guess no one's gonna take any pictures, right? Nah. Well, All right, so we had a change of plans. We decided we were going to go up into the mountains again because that gave us the best chance at catching some species that we'll have a harder time finding down south. We're sort of stopping en route to flip some stuff though. And here's something I haven't like shown on the video yet. It's a uh, Turkish gecko, Hemidactylus tersicus. This is a young one. They get a bit bigger and they do look quite nice to be honest. Hiking through these ruins. Lots of stuff to flip, lots of cracks to look in. Weather's a bit cold, a bit cloudy, but I'd say there's still snakes around. Pretty nice habitat though. I like what I see. Nice one. All right, so I just flipped ammo number four of the trip. Not really flipped, this rock was sort of up on a diagonal angle, but you can see our third juvenile just chilling up there, sort of taking shelter. We'd be incredibly lucky with these seeing four in seven days, but uh, that's definitely the last thing you should ever complain about. I'm incredibly grateful for that because this is such a cool species. I'm gonna show some video for another like 10 seconds and I'm gonna whip my camera out and I'm gonna take some pictures in situ because it looks really nice. So you've got five seconds, four, three, two, one. Yeah, I'm not gonna film too much of this one because obviously I've filmed with two juveniles before but it's cool how like, wait, look, what's that? Oh, for some reason I thought this millivede here was like a reptile tail for a second. But anyway, back to this. I mean, yeah, I'm just gonna quickly uh, sort of end this. We're about to put it back because most of us don't really want photos. Uh, but yeah, cool. Um, right. Second snake of the day, for, like minutes after we arrived here. Yeah. Juvenile Vipera oh. amadites, the nose horn viper. You sort of Something like that, yeah. It was a private number though. Is that one of your like um, security codes for like. <laughs> let it go, let it go. Okay. I don't want your f hooking this. I am really. Me and Josh came to check out these rock walls and I just spotted something really cool. Uh, down here, we might lose it before it goes, but if you look down in there, I'm going to zoom. There is like, I think it's a juvenile, but not a small. So there's a Vipera amadites in situ down there in the rocks, which I spotted, which is really nice. I mean, pardon my language, which is really nice to see. I'm going to get, just look at it here. I'm going to get my camera out and take some pictures because this is really cool. The second we went to get our cameras out, even though we were standing really far back, it like went deep into the rock wall and we're not going to tear apart a rock wall. So we'll just leave it as that and probably see another one. This feels like perfect weather for vipers. All right, so things are going okay thus far. Got some snakes, but not really what we were hoping for. It's very gray and quite cool, but I don't think that will stop us from finding what we're looking for. We just got to make sure we put the time in and have the luck go our way. 
You can see the boys are working hard. Let's cut to us finding something. All right, so Harry has called us from the distance saying we all need to come here. I don't know what he's got. Could be anything from refugia to something interesting. He's kind of like standing over there, kind of sus, so I don't know what he's up to. What is it? Yeah. There we go. He's got us what we we're looking for. <laughs> Telescopus phallics. There. What's the name? European, European cat, snakes. cat snakes. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Another little baby as well. Yeah. When we came up here last time, Bo caught a tiny little one, but we really wanted to catch our own, which was like the main reason we came up here. I just flipped this and I put it back down and I looked down and there was a snake on the floor. It must have like just fallen out as I flipped this. Or it was there I've already. Done all of them. I've done most of them. Long really? And it was just, dude, that is so sick. Nice job, man. I'm so, I was so... When we heard you shout, oh, everyone needs to come here, I was like, it has to be this. Come on, please. <laughs> All right, so yeah, I kind of said before, but Bo went off on his own when we went up to the mountains with him before, and he caught one of these, like, somewhere. But we didn't film with that one. Uh, I was definitely hopeful that we could get our own, and we didn't really so much count that as our own because he was so far away, and he isn't really part of our, like, trip, you know, when he got it. But this... You know, 100% counts. We were just up the path a bit. And uh, Harry walked into this random like yard of actually, I think it's inhabited houses. Some of them are, yeah. Got definitely one of the like lesser distributed and, and rarer snakes on the island. All right, and that, I guess that concludes our time in the north. Unless we can grab a blind snake on our way out, but that you can still get them in the south. This is just probably the best location, but it's been good. All right, so we took some photos and me and Harry are just gonna let this little guy go. Get another snake I'm very, very happy to have found. Okay, welcome back. I don't know how windy it's gonna be, but you see that over there, that's our destination, the sand dunes. We just got up, we were walking down this road on the way. I spotted a little Dahl's whip snake just on the wall over there. So first snake of the day came nice and early, just minutes after leaving our new apartment. As you know, we're down sort of the southern part of the island now. We had a drive down last night. I'm gonna spend the last three days of the trip herping, I guess, mainly around here. Got some target species here, which I'll tell you about later, but I'm gonna let Josh take a quick photo and then we're gonna release this guy. because This is like number seven, I think oh, we've yeah, had on this trip. Seven, right, yeah. Okay, far from the prettiest one we've seen so far. It's got some really nice sort of orangey bronze on it, but it's not so blue towards the head, more gray. And it's also the smallest one we've seen so far. I'll give one, <laughs> wasp in my face, go away. Ah, can I go off? Um, anyway, yeah, so I'm just gonna quickly put this back now that we've hurt mapped it. See you, bro. All right. Well, that was a good start to the day. Very unexpected. I was thinking I'd run my intro when I got to the sand dunes, but I guess here we are. I'll catch you there. All right. Welcome to the sand dunes. This is the more vegetated part. Just arrived a second ago. We're looking for the sand boa, Eryx jacula. I don't know really what I'm looking for in habitat. I just know I'm looking for... Oh! Look what I just spotted! on video as well. A tiny catchling tortoise. So I don't know how obstructed the video was by wind, but here's another look out the winds died down just a little bit. I probably won't be able to film too much today judging by how much wind is hitting us. But this is super cute and I would expect the tortoises to be really common in this habitat. We literally just got out like a few minutes ago. Uh, hopefully there's um, something special at the end.
okay, I was just going through this pile over here and Josh kind of sort of found me and came out of nowhere and flipped just under here. Uh, a green toad, yeah. put it in the sun. There we go, which is a species which breeds pretty heavily and kind of relies on pools in these dunes to survive and one that we were hoping to see out here, which is quite nice. Um, I haven't filmed many amphibians this trip, but I figured this is one that I'd show before you take a couple pictures. You yeah. want to take camera pictures, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, we'll quickly do that. All right. Now that's a cool flip. Scorpion eating a scolopendra. You get some close up of that. Right here in the sand dunes. Dude, we have been out walking for hours now. We started at like 10.30. It's now about three. I mean, I just spotted a reptile. <clears throat> Tiny juvenile Herman's tortoise. This will be like the sixth or seventh tortoise of the day. There's many of these to go around, I assure you of that. But uh, only one escaped snake so far young Malpalon so not going well but we're going to stick at it this is going to be a long day and uh hopefully hopefully we find something right so after a dismal day of hunting me and Josh just sat in the car like the f***ing FBI staking out this bush that we saw a Malpalon go into because we saw it across the path there when we were, drove up then we walked down there when we came back this couple said they saw it go that way and then cross back again. So we're hoping that it will come out of the bush that it's currently in, cross this, and we can cut it off on that side. So at the moment, it's just basically an FBI stakeout to try and wait out this, this snake, one snake. Will it even happen? Chances are no. I also dived on what I thought was a snake and, I got, and it was a tortoise, and I bashed it as well, which I feel really bad about. So yeah, not been the greatest day. <laughs> All right, well, we just got back from the dunes and unfortunately it was a very unsuccessful day. I saw three Malpalons, which was a species we really wanted to photograph on this trip, but unfortunately couldn't get any of them in hand. So other than that, we didn't see anything except a load of tortoises. But we've got tomorrow. I don't know if we'll go back to the dunes and try for the Eriks again. It was a bit demoralizing after hiking all day, but who knows, we might pick up some courage and go back and give it one last shot. But last day coming up tomorrow, stay tuned. What's up guys, welcome back. It's the last day. Our flight is in the evening though. So after packing up all our stuff and getting ready today, we do have the whole afternoon to herb. And you know what we've done? We've come back to the dunes one last time, just for like a couple hours to see if we can get this bloody sand boa. The chances of it happening now are next to nothing. So I'll probably just cut to us whatever we get up to next. We just know that we gave it one last shot. All right, maybe it wasn't the right season. I don't think that's a good enough excuse. I think they're just really, really cryptic, hard to find. And we didn't have the luck for one to appear right in front of us, you know, which is kind of how they're found. They just appear. There's no real technique or method. We flipped everything in sight. You know, we, we did everything we can. We walked around all day long, morning and afternoon. We didn't go at night. It was a bit cold, windy. Um, Doubt there would have been much out then. Maybe that was what we missed. I don't know. But I'm going to keep walking around, scouring the edge of these dunes. You know, maybe I'll get lucky and get another snake. It's unlikely though. But I'll see you guys very soon. All right? Boop, boop. These two tortoises uh, must have discovered these mushrooms. I must have been having a munch because they're just chilling there. That's something. Big green toe buried down there. Small scorpion there. I'm going to put this back, not disturb these anymore. Hey, would you look at that? We got our first snake in hand for about over two days now. 
saw another massive maple on the dunes and we just walked a little away from the dunes into a grassy area. Thought we saw a maple on go into a bush, flushed it out and it was a Balkan whip. But this is the first adult Balkan whip that wasn't like in shed that I've had since my camera was broken. I lost my first photos of the trip. So I did a quick sh photo shoot with this, but I just figured I'd show it before we let it go. This could end up being our last snake of the trip. Um, but we're hoping not. We still got a bit, an hour and a bit to hunt around this afternoon. I'm gonna make use of that. So you guys mind if I release this? Yeah, go ahead. So right into the bush where it came from. 